Alright, so you guys are going to see my face a lot more. But anyways, you're going to see this my face again for another video too, today. I'm going to try to get all this shit done. But, that's not the point. So what I'm going to talk about are the people who actually say that it's not the fault of the state for all of this bullcrap, it's just the fault of the government. And they fail to understand the nature of what separates a state from any regular government. You see, the concept is that the state is what's responsible for protecting civil liberties. That is, the state protects you from the tyranny of too many laws of big government. And I really don't like this terminology. It makes me feel sickened and uncomfortable. This really can't tolerate most libertarians. Oh, I can't tolerate anybody, but that's a tangent. Anyway, you see, the problem is that they don't understand the way things work. Why is it that we have so much fake regulations that are actually just outright controls? Well, it's barriers to entry. Why do people have barriers to entry? Money. Bush can profit grassroots and vicariously from most of what he did via the Patriot Act. It set up the war and really led him to pursuing his own personal desire for profit in the oil industry. And as for Obama, well, he's had some advantages himself. For starters, like all these corporations really helped his grassroots movement. You see, Obama's a little bit backwards on why he wants to be a politician. But it all has the same problem. Money. No one wants power just to have control. That's a very dumb intent and the motivation behind it is even more dumb. People generally want something that they can get out of through power because as you know it's survival of the weakest. Yes, it's survival of the weakest. People kill themselves working with too much power. Politicians kill themselves by going to office. Look at presidents. They look older and older within years. Within a simple year they look much older than they were before. It's a job, an occupation that kills people. You can argue, well, they were really old when they started off. Obama's like almost as young as my he's slightly younger than my dad actually my dad has a lot more color to his hair a lot more color to his facial hair if Obama has any facial hair I mean he must have a good shave he must get a good shaving all the time because his face is less hairier than my ass they generally want something like money why? Because money has more tangible value. It's something that's better for the sacrifice. You wouldn't sacrifice your health. You wouldn't waste all this time for something like control. You want money. That's what the state's for. See, most states right now are private. They're essentially private. They're not for the public. These states are used to essentially haggle with corporations and gain more wealth as a result. And this is the way it works for the healthcare industry. It's the way it works for the oil industry. Definitely for the healthcare. 
governments are just not gonna they're not gonna pile up all these laws for no purpose. They're not gonna make all these regulations. But I wouldn't call them regulations because they don't most of them don't really regulate much. That's just the vocabulary they use to confuse people and make them go into red herrings. Legal agencies aren't going to pile up laws unless they're bribed by the state. Legal agencies are only going to make enough laws to keep social order. After that social order has been created and something's being used to protect it, like perhaps military, they're not going to, or even police officers, they're not going to do anything more. They've done their job, and that's where they get their sensual profit from. And with the state, the state probably bribes them. I mean, it's done a lot of the bribing. You can look at the Gilded Age. See all those laissez-faire issues from the Gilded Age? No, they're state corporatism. It's all the same. They want that money. I know I'm going in circles and being a lot more fast-paced than usual, but for you people who don't get it, legal agencies aren't going to do what they do to an excess for nothing. They need the money. The state gives corporations the money. And it gives them the money. You can argue that the state itself happens to be a corporation. But I've seen collectivized states before and not all of them are good. Some are minarchist-esque and moderately okay compared to everything relatively but to me relatively being good isn't good enough I don't fantasize anything politically I don't fantasize that there will be a stateless society I don't even hope that comes true I don't hope for anything I'm just telling you the situation, and that's that if you blame overpowered legal agencies for what's happened because of the state, then you're incorrect because the state actually has the motive. The state has explicitly used its intent, its intent to bribe the corporations to have the corporations bribe it, to bribe the legal agencies, to have legal agencies bribe it, and all the rest is history. So this is Mr. Wonka 7, and don't suck my dick yet. I'll have a new video coming up.